So before we look at this um, page in your binder, I just wanted to take a minute to look at how we can take English words and change them into math. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at a few of these and we're going to come up with an expression that matches the sentence. So how would I say four times a number? Well, remember, I have variables. So if I don't know what the number is, I can use a variable. So I could say the number is x. So I could say four times the number x by writing 4x. How would I say a number divided by 2? So again, I can say that the number is x or y or z. It could be anything. So let's use the letter y this time. How do I write divided by 2? I write over 2. 6 more than a number. So again, let's let my number be a. How do I say 6 more than that? I can say a plus 6. Another way of adding is to say a number increased by. So 6 more or a number increased by is the same. So I can have my number, let's call it p, and I can increase it by 5. This one's a little bit different. It says a number decreased by 6. So let's take my number b and decrease it or subtract 6. Here's another way of showing subtraction. 4 less than a number. So I have my number, let's call it C, and I'm going to do four less than that. So one thing that's tricky is sometimes in English we write the number first, so four less than, we write that first. But in math, four less than means to take the number and take four away from it. And so we have to write it in this order. Um, whereas up here, A plus six, I could have also written six plus A, and that would be the same. But C minus 4 is not the same as 4 minus C, so be careful. Now this one's a little tricky. 10 decreased by a number. That means I'm taking 10 and I'm decreasing it by some number, let's call it Z. 3 more than a number. Let's take my number, let's call it M, and we'll add 3. 5 less than a number. We're going to take our number, let's call it n, and we're going to take away 5. A number multiplied by 3, that's the same as saying 3 times a number. We'll write 3k, for example. And then a number divided by 5, so let's say the number is h, to show divided by 5, we do that. So that's just a quick little warm-up to get used to changing from English words into math expressions. Now we're going to go through a more formalized um, way of doing that and creating equations. So what you're going to do is you're going to be given a sentence and you're going to have to create an equation to, to match the words and then you're going to solve the equation. Before you can use letters, so up here I used a whole bunch of different letters. Before I can use the letters, you need to tell the reader, the person looking at what you're doing, what the letter represents. And we do that by using what's called a let statement. So seven fewer than a number is 12. So you ask yourself, what is it I don't know? Well, I don't know what the number is. So I can say let x represent the number. So x is, or y or z, doesn't matter what letter you use, is always going to represent what you do not know. Now what we're going to do is create an equation. So how do I say 7 fewer than my number, or 7 fewer than x? Well, I do x minus 7, and then this part is extra. We didn't have that on the other page. Is means equals 12. So now what I've done is I've taken the word 7 fewer than a number is 12, and I've written an equation. The first step, though, is to do this let statement so you can tell the reader what your letter represents. Now I need to solve. So to solve, I need to add 7 to both sides, and I get my answer. Then I have a sentence answer that says, therefore, the number is 19. It didn't really say it here, but it should have said find the number. That's what it should have said. So let's look at the next one. Same kind of idea. It says the sum of 9 and a number is equal to 36. Again, it should probably say find the number. 
that one you can barely read. It says number. So again, we start with a let statement. So this time, let's use a different letter. Let's say let A represent the number. Again, that variable is something we don't know. We need to identify what it represents. So how do I say the sum of 9 and the number? Well, the word sum means to add. So that means A plus the number is or is equal to means an equal sign and then 36. Now we need to solve so we can find the number. To solve, we take away 9 and we have to do that to both sides. And you're left with A equals 20, oh, sorry, 27. And that's your answer. And then you say, therefore, the number is 27. So that's just a little introduction to changing words into math and then connecting that to the work we've done in algebra and solving equations to be able to solve for some unknowns.